It tightens up here. It tightens up here. Okay, fine. So what we want to do when it comes, first of all, I would you like you to, I would like you to stay a little bit more aligned. Currently, your your larynx, your pharynx is bended a little bit over. Yeah. So this is something that I noticed within your videos that you are looking a lot down. I guess on the I iPad. Read somewhere where it's better. <laughs> huh? I read somewhere that the sound would be better this way. That's why I was doing. Uh, so actually, if you are looking down, then your larynx, this is the larynx, the voice box drops down and well, we'll, we'll get there in a second, we will get there in a second. Okay, now what I want you to do first is bring back, bring back that pharynx into the straight position. We don't want to go and bend over and we don't want to drop the larynx in an unnatural position, okay? Larynx yeah. So what we have here is the larynx. This is how the larynx looks like. The larynx, yeah. Here's a picture of the larynx, a model of the larynx. And here you have inside two vocal folds. Can you see them? Yeah, I know roughly how it looks. Yeah. Now what happens if, if you are changed, if you're not aligned, if you don't have a proper posture, then what happens is that the larynx drops down and changes the pitch. It changes unnaturally this sound, the outcome of the sound, because, oh, I bend it over, that larynx drops, and all of a sudden I create a nuance, or I change the pitch. Also, all the other muscles, they have to work now double hard, because why? The larynx is in an unnatural position, that means this muscle has to work hard, all the elevator muscles don't work at all, so what happens is we are changing completely, it, it, and we are starting to get more tense. Here's a good picture, do you see what happens if we are, you see this? Right, so this is what happens when the larynx is in a wrong position. So what I want you to do is, I want you to bring this neck part up straight. Right, so the larynx can be again in that position. And you see how many muscles are connected to each other. When that larynx drops, there's no freedom in singing. There will be a straining. Is yeah. this uh, right? Uh uh, now your 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 your, your um, pharynx is a little bit on, uh, forward, you know. It's a little bit like it's a little bit like this, and you have to go and bring it back up, as though someone's lifting you up on your head. Is it like this? Uh, to to yeah, in. this is better now. This is better now. So what? So it's, it's pretty much that's where I right. So I, I kind of bring it. Like exactly. Then, yes. It's like from the yes. backwards. Okay, because let's. I find that I even even if I have correct here, I find that it's my my chin that needs to go back because I sometimes just strain the neck regardless of my posture. Yeah. So what 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 the singing teachers say is that the the singer that like for example when the singer bends over like this, that means they are getting the power from the neck. And this is wrong. We some some make fun and say the singer the singer is just singing out of the neck. So we don't want the singer to sing out of the neck and have the support here because this is not a supporting muscle, right? The supporting muscle should be somewhere else. 